The location is amazing. It's in the heart of the city of Christchurch, right next to the beautiful Avon River and Victoria Square, and behind us is Cathedral Square. So an incredible context to put a building of this scale. The form of the building was conceived through analysing the context. So you've got the rigid grid of the city. So the building really holds those edges. It's quite rigid and orthogonal. But as it transitions around to the Avon, the building begins to loosen up, becomes more freeform, fluid, sinuous. There's 43,000 tiles on the facade that make up the facade. It's made up of six unique tones and textures, and they've all been assembled one by one on a system that allowed us to obviously put them up in batches as opposed to individual tiles. So um, that was a bit of an innovation for the project. The material itself is references and the tones, references the context. You can see the buildings across the river there. And then some of the chrome materials that you see through here, they reflect the context again. The main arrival into the building is really through Avon River. Walking into the building, the reflections above of the context, and then you walk through into the main foyer space. There's a variety of different functional spaces. You know, as per the brief, there are briefed areas like a massive exhibition hall of over 3,000 square metres. The auditorium is about 1,400 seats divided into two. Buildings of this scale, there's a lot of hard surfaces around, so we had to be quite careful about how we controlled the acoustics. The timber walls have gaps between them and acoustic lining on the inside as well to absorb the acoustic requirements. One of the innovations was the Ortex acoustic system that we used in the main exhibition spaces. They were basically 3D moulded acoustic panels um, with a custom sort of pattern. So they basically make up a massive weave that you read through the interior of the entire X hall. Designing buildings that are dedicated is a thing of the past. So you want buildings to evolve over time and buildings need to transform based on how conferences evolve. So I think that's a key thing about sustainability, creating a building that is adaptable and can change over time. I think it's a benchmark facility in terms of addressing a new boutique experience. You know, the quality of the finishes, the way that you walk the building, experience it within. It's been quite a journey and one that I thoroughly enjoyed.